I am now in Nizhny Novgorod, specifically the airport. It's 8 a.m. right now, and I've been trying to get uh, an Uber or a Yandex taxi for the past hour, and there's no one to pick me up. Airport taxi is available, but obviously they're going to like charge me a lot. And there's the option of a bus, but look at my luggage. Oh my gosh, I finally have an Uber. I just hope that he doesn't cancel on me. Please, 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 please. Hello from Nizhny Novgorod. I can't really speak very loudly because it is only 10.23 and people are still asleep. I'm really glad because I finally came to my hostel after waiting for like over an hour. I'm actually really tired right now because I've been up since 2.30 a.m. last night. Really hungry too. But between hunger and tiredness, I choose to sleep first. To curb my hunger, I'm gonna eat these chak chak that I read about for me. At least it can suppress my hunger for a bit. I'm up from my nap and it's raining outside. And it's raining really heavily. Right now, I'm at a pretty recommended Georgian restaurant, which the price is quite okay, especially now it's still like the business lunch period. The staff there, they are really nice and helpful, although they can't really speak English. As I was walking out, I guess I'm a bit tired and the glass is too clean that I almost walked into it. Good thing I noticed before I actually hit my head. So right now, I am going over to the Kremlin before heading back. But I might just go back to my hostel to be honest. Although it's only 5 plus, but I'm already quite sleepy. And I don't really have much to do here in Nizhny Novgorod. So I have plenty of time to waste and to spend in bed sleeping. The sun is still up, but uh, my friends, they warned me to not um, be out at night in Nizhny Novgorod, especially being a foreigner because their friend who is a tourist, somebody like put a knife at him and demanded to give him all his things so it's kind of dangerous at night I will just walk around a little bit while the sun is still up and then I'll just go back to my hostel I want to go across but I don't see a zebra crossing and people here do not jaywalk because it's very very dangerous to jaywalk and I, I don't want to die in Nizhny Novgorod Oh hey, I'm at my hostel Maybe I should just go back and sleep Right now I'm in my hostel Just chilling Watching some Russian uh, Documentary experimenting I don't know On YouTube or whenever I read vlogs, people suggest to go from the top and then you just walk all the way down so that you don't actually have to climb the staircase. Where's the fun in that? Like, I'm gonna attempt to climb from bottom to top. I'm not in my fittest condition right now because I haven't been working out and my cardio sucks in general. So let's see if I can reach the top. I'm pretty sure I can reach the top. It's just how long it takes me. That's all. Okay, starting out, I don't feel it just yet. I'm a quarter way there. Let's see what I think about this when I reach the top. Halfway point. You know, usually on vacation, you can't really work out or you're too lazy for that or you've got no time for that. You just find a staircase to walk up and down. Well, I found myself the longest staircase in Russia to do my workout for this trip. 
I mean go big or go home, right? This is a beautiful view. Uh, I just came up from up there, all the way up here. And now, I still have to go up there. Seriously, this is like cardio for the year, done. So I made it to the top and the view is just stunning. I'm going to look for food right now because what's new? I'm hungry. I'm like starving. So right now I'm about to have my breakfast. Uh, I'm super hungry so I'm really excited about this. So I got myself a big breakfast and just fruit tea. This is so freaking good. The scrambled egg tastes like the scrambled eggs that I made. I mean technically I can make scrambled eggs myself but I can't hear and it's so damn good. I'm just eating my own scrambled eggs. Right now, I'm just walking back to my hostel to take a nap because I'm very sleepy. And then later, after I wake up from my nap, I'm going to ride the cable car to go across the Volga River. district across the Volga river. This morning's activity before I leave for Moscow is the cable car. You can see it rotating there. I couldn't really film talking in the cable car because there was a family in there and they were really um, enthusiastic in talking to me. We had a conversation and I couldn't really talk to my camera because it's a little bit awkward. Just having my breakfast at a cafe called Coffee Cake. It's pretty famous, I think. I ordered myself a raspberry tea with mint. Being here in Russia, I drank a lot of tea because they drink a lot of tea here and I can't really drink coffee that much. So I've been ordering tea. I'm finally trying Sirniki. It's basically curd pancakes and they come with either honey, cherry, or maple syrup. I chose maple syrup. This is sour cream. I love that they put sour cream with everything. It's just so good. Yum. I am now in the Lastochka train and I finally got my seat. I guess in general, people here, they are actually very helpful. So even though I'm quite lost, but with my super basic Russian and my lost space, um, they've been really, really kind and helpful, which I'm really grateful for. The journey will take me about three and a half hours. 